Welcome to our second Developer's Diary. I'm Gordon Farrell, assistant producer and lead writer. And I'm Ariel Parkis, assistant VO director. I also play several elf characters. Today we'll look at Kingdom Wars and play a single player campaign game as the Orcs. We're choosing our city now and we'll make our starting town Rawl Nistro. The drums of war ring out across the realm of the Orcs. The Barat Madara, strong and proud, are ready for blood and conquest. Rawl Nistro is the land beneath the trees, the great forest stronghold. Her fortress building skills, stolen from human neighbors, make her a truly powerful opponent. Foul, fleshy humans and devious elves have declared war on Gokum. We will find out which of us is strongest. Now we're going through the town management screens. We're recruiting fresh troops. We're going to the various markets and acquiring goods that we need. And we're exercising control over our economy. The player is able to also view his towns up close in person. To take a look at his mighty fortress, this is the town of Makara the other city that's under our control. Amara, great warrior! Makata opens her gates to you! Makata, by the way, means mother womb. Orcs are born whenever lightning strikes the ground, then raised in Makata, the womb. The same word is used to refer to an orc home. One of the things I like about the orcs is the fact that, despite being fierce warriors, they honor the matriarch in their culture and mythology. Now, as with any RTS game, we need resources. Right now, we need gold and stone, so we're going to raid some dwarven underground caves and politely ask them to donate to our coffers. The dark caves of the dwarven marches are a really tough place, but dwarves have great loot on them, and in addition, these caves are rich with gold deposits that our laborers can mine. Dwarves are a powerful race that offer various mercenary units, including gunpowder units, from riflemen to cannons, so they're really great to have in your siege. The Dwarven realm can't be played as a race, but it offers great opportunities for adventure and acquiring wealth. Even an elf would be tempted to use them. In Kingdom Wars, the player has a unique ability to view his army anywhere in the world location, and once this view mode has been activated, you can fight various player versus environment instances. In Dawn of Fantasy, combat pays. So just as the player would get some major loot during a major battle, in the view mode, player versus environment, it's possible to accumulate a great many resources quickly. There are a total of 15 explorable regions in the game, each with their own environments, enemies, even villages and garrisons to trade or fight against. This excursion into the Dwarven Marches will definitely give me the resources I need to carry out the Orc plans for conquest. We kill all them! Burak Brilkag Mada! We have victory! They say the best defense is offense, and with human and elven armies on the way, we'll push into their territory, set up a defensive camp, and engage their army on the field. Camp Army camps are forward bases in Dawn of Fantasy. You can build up various fortifications as well as recruit mercenaries, build siege weapons, and even manage your economy. But today, we fight. The human army was en route to attack our beloved Raul Nistro, and it looks like they brought some siege weapons with them. But our upgraded range units and mixed forces of cavalry ranged and melee units should make quick work of them. Foolish humans. They walked right into your trap. I don't think you'll find the elves so easy to deceive. Notice how we let the humans soften you up first. Never trust an elf is an old orc motto. It's time to hit elves where it hurts, right in the capital town of Elis Tiltos. Our army has set up a camp right outside their town in preparation for a long and bloody siege while our laborers get busy chopping down elven trees for us to build more siege weapons 
and our army is advancing for our first wave in the assault. Well, you'd better move quickly. The Elf Relief Army is not far away and will strike back to lift your siege shortly. The worst thing with attacking elves is that nature and the forest are on their side. Exactly. The elves have planted gariolas outside their walls. Those are those man-eating plants you see pouncing on your warriors. They can swallow entire battalions in seconds. This is just a sample of what Kingdom Wars brings. Full town management, real-time open-ended epic campaigns, diplomacy, trade, bloody sieges, field combat, and much, much more. Looks like the elves are going to take a real beating here. I wouldn't be so sure of that. They've still got a few tricks up their sleeve. Like I said, never trust an elf. I'm Gordon Farrell. And I'm Arielle Parkes. Thanks for joining us for our second Developer's Diary.